Hello and welcome to another Cycle Ref TFM video, Fundamental Training for Marketers, brought to you by 3Chilies, the experienced technology experts. In this tutorial, we're continuing on from where we left off in the last tutorial, where we were about to create a message in Cycle's EXM. So once we've clicked on the next tab along here, labelled Message, we'll add a subject line up here. You can click into the Message Body here to open up the Message Body in Edit Mode, which looks a little bit like this. Now we've chosen the newsletter template for demonstration purposes, but depending on the template that you've chosen for the email campaign, some layout and content may already be added to the message body as you can see here. But don't worry, you can still edit most of this content should you wish to make any changes. It's just helpful to know that any changes made won't affect the original template that you added. To edit the layout of your message in the ribbon on the email tab, click component to add a new component to the message and for the relevant location, add here. We'll choose this space here. Now it's time to go ahead and start adding content to the message. And the way that you do this is very similar to the way that you would edit a page in the experience editor of Sitecore. So we'll click in here and change this title to something more relevant and then add some text from our clipboard into here. We'll add a picture of our Sitecore superhero here who does our audits here at Three Chilies. And we'll finish this section by adding a link. And we'll add a bit more text down here. Now this clearly isn't a very beautiful email template to use, but it does show you the process of how you would go about interacting with the different elements of the page. If you are going to use the EXM effectively, you'll need to have your Cycle Partner code in a set of branded components and templates. Okay, so we're pretty much done here for now, but before I close this window, it's worth knowing that you can click on this button here, labeled Details. That's gonna take you to the presentation details where you can edit the presentation details or choose a different layout. When you're finished editing the content, click Save and Close. Then you wanna scroll down the page and add something to the alternative text field. The alternative text field is a plain text version of your message. If the recipient's email client can't read the HTML version of the message, the alternative text is used instead. There is a little default message in this field, but you can enter any text that you want. So we're gonna add the full email in plain text. Then we'll save our changes. Now, if you want to add an attachment to your message, make sure you're back in this view and click view next to the attachments title in this box over here. In the add attachment dialog box, click browse for files, click the file that you want to add and then click open. It's worth knowing that you can upload multiple attachments at the same time, but if you do that, the total size of the attachments mustn't exceed seven megabytes. When you've added all the relevant attachments in the add attachments dialog box, click upload. There are a couple of things to realize about attachments. We're going to be covering variants in another video, but if you have multiple variants of your message, the attachment is added to all of the variants in the same language and to every new variant that you create. But if there are multiple language versions of the message, a notification appears asking if you want to add the attachment to all language versions. Now, it's also important to understand that when you remove an attachment from a message with multiple language versions, that attachment is only removed from the currently selected language version. When you remove an attachment from a message with multiple variants, the attachment is removed from all variants. So that's a little bit confusing and it might be worth going over that again once you have a minute or two. But for now, we're gonna move on to looking at how to remove an attachment from a message. So you start by opening the relevant message. And if your message does have multiple language versions, you need to click this language button up here and click the relevant language version. We only have one language version here, so the button is grayed out for us. In the message info pane on the right here, click view, and in the add attachments dialog box, select the attachments that you want to delete and click remove attachment. Then click close. Okay, so that's the basic message setup. Now it's time to give it some bells and whistles with personalization and the use of tokens, and that's exactly what we're gonna be covering in the next video. This video was brought to you by 3Chilies, the experienced technology experts. For more free cycle training videos, head over to 3chilies.co.uk forward slash training. Or if you'd like to organize a bespoke training day for your marketing team, email us or give us a ring. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you found this video useful.